Stacy. Does it say Stacy? We don't know. Hey guys, what's up? It's Alyssa and welcome back to my channel. So, I've literally been promising a room tour for maybe two years now. But here we are. I think that's the important part. So I guess if you want to see my room tour, just keep on watching. Okay, so first thing you see when you walk into my room is the actual room, but when you look to your right I've got this dresser from Ikea. It's got these two doors. You know, you press them, they open up There's a shelf, one shelf, so two compartments. It's just got like sweatshirts, t-shirts, sweatpants And then below is just all my, you know, under outfit things and underneath are my socks. In this whole area I've got a couple Polaroids which I think are really cool. An old Polaroid camera, some necklaces, a movie ticket, you know, pictures, my ukulele, an old picture of me from literally like the sixth grade, some lyrics that I wrote down during econ when I was bored one day. So, yeah. On the door, I've got this five sauce poster. Literally, everyone probably has this poster. I don't have the heart to take it down. For some reason, it reminds me of the song Disconnected. I don't know why, but. It does. And then underneath I have a poster of Sabrina that my nephew ripped. Which makes me sad because it was like an exclusive poster because I was a part of her VIP thing and I'm sad about it. And uh, then just a bunch of my like jackets and purses. All the good stuff. Up above I've got more Polaroids, a couple CDs, this picture I took which is really really cool in my opinion. The words 1980s horror film because I love that song by Wallows and I just think it looks cool. Then I've got this hand that I printed out right here and a bunch of fake petals that descend to the bottom of this wall because it was just empty and I thought I needed something. Might take it down to be determined. I'm editing this right now. I realized I forgot to talk about what was on my dresser. So on my dresser, it's just a bunch of my like lotions, hairsprays, then I have some necklaces and bracelets on this really cool tray that I got from Marshalls, I think. A ring holder that's a unicorn because I'm awesome. Then just like makeup removers and this really cool cactus. And then this is my closet, which we are not going to go into because it's messy. Over here, I've got my Spider-Man hand which is like really cool. It comes out of the wall. Kind of scary, but still, you know, pretty sick. And then I've got this 3D comic book Spider-Man thing and then a Spider-Man homecoming poster because I'm obsessed with Spider-Man, if you couldn't tell. Right over here, I have this cart with three shelves. First one has like my lipsticks that are all on display over here. Chokers, and then it has like my mirror and other things like that. And on the side are all my friends' senior portraits because my friends are beautiful. Underneath, I have my contacts and whatnot. It's really messy, I'm sorry. And then underneath is just a bunch of hair stuff, so like my curling iron and my flat iron. Over here, this is really cool. You'll appreciate this. I have all my VIP passes, all of three VIP passes. This one's from the Sabrina Carpenter Detour. This one is the Somerset Made For You Tour. This is the Nick Jonas VIP one. So this is 2015, 2016, 2017. Let's see if I do one for 2018. I don't know yet. Up above here, I have two Spider-Man comic books and a The Shin CD and a One Direction CD. I have a very weird taste in music. I have my little beret. I love this thing. It's so cute. And then all my close the door. I just have this really big white mirror that hangs off of it. I think this is from Target. I don't actually know. And then right over here is my desk. So this is usually where a lot of my editing goes down. Also this chair is really 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 creaky and I'm sorry about it. This yellow chair is from Ikea. The seat itself used to be gray. I switched out for yellow just because it's colorful and it makes me happy. Over here I've got an old one step Polaroid. This is a thing I made. I took an old VHS tape, took out what was inside, replaced it with string lights, and then put a, you know, Stranger Things picture right there because I think it looks really cool. And then I have my self portrait that I took from my photography class right there. Two um, mini mouse hair slips that I wear when I go to Disney. I have a Polaroid snow globe of my friends and I because I am a teenager. Over there is a candle that smells really, really good. It reminds me of what Libby Lou smelled like. You guys know what Libby Lou is. You're a real true homie. I have a unicorn horn that I've had for like two years. It's really cool. I have a terrarium right there. With very light to know. I bought the terrarium at like a garage sale and then the string lights are from Marshalls or something. And then behind it I have this painting my friend made me. It has like an A on it. It's really cute. Over here by the desk area. I have a bunch of magnets, like a pencil holder thing, a clown nose. Something you should know about me is I own a lot of weird things and they kind of all just live in my room because I don't want to throw them away. But you know what? I think they're fun. So I keep them. I have this picture of me from Chuck E. Cheese when I was like four. It's so funny. My calendar. If you guys didn't know, I love writing like, fiction, short stories, poetry, all that good stuff. I have a bunch of notes here. Fortune cookie. Fortunes. Taped onto this like 
I don't know what this is called. This thing's awesome though. Yeah, a lamp, my Wii controllers. All the office supplies needed. Books right here, I've got a planner. Over here in this area, I have a bunch of electronics. Magazines that honestly are so old, but they look really cool because they're like white and sleek. Um, my Milk and Vine book. Thank you, Alex. A bunch of Divergent books because my favorite series. More books because I am obsessed with reading. <laughs> this mug with Alex's face on it. Cause are you really best friends if you don't have your friend's face on a mug? Let's be real. Then up here, I have this picture over here of the buildings my friend Becky, Rebecca, <laughs> took, and I'm obsessed with it. And for my graduation present, she gave it to me, and I'm so happy about it. It's the coolest. One of the few pictures in here that I haven't taken. But next to it's this picture I took of my friend Teresa at the moment. And then two um, photo strips, more Polaroids, a signed picture from Jordan Fisher, the picture of Austin Knight and Callum Hood holding black toilet paper because I think it's hilarious and I needed it in my room. Obviously. Over there, lyrics to Move My Way by the Vamps because I adore that song. Always have, probably always will. And again, Jordan. During my econ class, I was bored, so that's what I did. And uh, the set list from my R5 show like a year ago that I wrestled for, and it's on my wall because it's so cool. This picture that I drew of these two hands when I used to be talented. This picture that I got at Michael's of a flower because it was on sale for like three bucks, and I was like, how could I not? My picture with five sauce, a picture with one of you guys because I love you guys so much. And then on my desk, I just have a bunch of old pictures. I pr should probably start switching these out, but of you know, just memories and my friends because I love my friends. And I have a Spider-Man comic book right there. It's Peter Parker's graduation, so it's encased in glass, so it can never be ruined. This is my trash can. Um, so right over here is all my sister's stuff, so I'm not gonna be showing you guys that because like it's her stuff and I don't wanna like intrude or whatever. Over here is our shared space, kind of. It's mostly my stuff. You know, older sibling, I have privileges. So right over here I have my Wii, a mic I use for voiceovers, um, a bunch of fidget spinners, cause I feel like no one knows this, but I actually have like this really big collection of fidget spinners. This is only half of it. Um, this one's my favorite one. It's... Spider-Man. And in that box over there, I just have a bunch of fake glasses. Over here is my nail polish collection. You know, sorted out in a swivel and swerve because I am extra. Despite the fact that I literally use the same three nail polishes all the time, and these are really gross because I haven't repainted them in a while. Over here, this is my movie collection. The collection at the moment is very small because half of the movies I've actually lent someone so they could watch it. Which is literally like, I think like 23 movies. It's a lot of movies. And then this is a little thing my friend Teresa made me for graduation and it's really cute. So it's it. And then over here is a bunch of my makeup. So right here are a bunch of palettes I like never use. Fake eyelashes. And then brand new products that I have yet to open. I have the Austin Night Manic Panic Hair Dye. And then my green screen. And then up here is my TV. My DVDs. System. And then in this area, I have my ukulele and my guitar. This one I had just bought recently. Um, I have an amp, but currently it's being lent to someone because they need it for their concert. So that's where that's at. But really cool story about that amp. Uh, my friend Andrew gave it to me because it belonged to one of his friends. And apparently the amp itself has been on tour like multiple times. And I don't know, that's pretty cool. In this corner where all my musical instruments are, uh, my keyboard is also being lent to someone for their concert. So it's not over there. But usually it's my guitar, my uke, and my keyboard. But I have this picture that I found at a Save It to DePaul. And it says Happier in the City. And it's really, really cute. Like I like the way the colors are. I love how it looks so like student made. And it's signed, but I can't read it. But it was made last year because it says 2017. And I don't know why someone would give this up. It's really cute. So I bought it. Support your local artist. So over here is my like side table, bedside table. These two crates are from Napa Valley that I found at a rummage sale, which is really awesome. Then I have my Polaroids. This jar of fairy lights. I really like fairy lights, if you can tell. I have a bunch of these Polaroid filters that are actually pretty pricey at, you know, Target or wherever you get them, but I found these at Ross for like three bucks, and I feel like a real queen. Then over here, I have my two journals. This one is my current one. This one's from like two years ago. It's actually really cool. So this is my 2018 journal, which is really awesome. It says, a likely story. And it has a bunch of my short stories and and poems and things like that that I've written this year and I'm really proud of what's in here I think it's actually pretty good my one from two years ago isn't that good this one I'm really proud of I think it's yeah, I'm really proud of it. Maybe one day you guys will get to see it. Milk and Honey by Rupee Carr. Everyone's read it. I want to brag for a second though because I read it before it even got popular. Because I'm a real true homie, but no one cares. And then Still Here by Rowan Blanchard. This is a book I highly recommend. I think it's so... <sighs> I don't know how to explain it. It's so good. Like, what the heck? First of all, if you're into aesthetics, like... You know, it's like a bunch of journal entries and really cool photographs and, and like things that you read and you're like, holy crap, I feel that. And then I have two five sauce books. The Hey, Let's Make a Band and the Book of Stuff. Official. I have 
a bunch of guitar picks. And when I play my guitar, a desk lamp, because you know, I read in bed. Camera lenses. This was the first lens I got. I use a Sigma lens, so I don't really use this one anymore. This was, you know, the one it came with. And this is my portrait lens. I didn't want to invest in like a really expensive one. This one was about 50, which is really cool. The only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't zoom in. So it's already zoomed in and then you can't zoom out. For 50 bucks, this camera's, you know, amazing. It works really well and I really like it. And here I just, you know, have my glasses. Because I'm blind, if you guys didn't know that. I'm legally blind. Always a fun time. Down here I have my light box that says five six of the summer nine two sixteen because that's what my sounds like feels like date and my sounds like feels like date is very important to me because that's when I really got to see all of your faces and I realized that you were real people and not robots and even if you were robots I'd be so jealous and I just dropped all my CDs that's so amazing I have a bunch of CDs that I can't put on my wall because they're like cardboard and I don't want to ruin them all the plastic ones go up there somewhere somehow by we the king less noise a collections of songs by a band called the main basically you know their acoustic album it's really good the main covers a and b sides American candy their most recent album which is lovely a little lonely debatably one of the greatest albums of all time entertainment by water parks because obviously I would own this over here I have a bunch of shoelaces that I bought and I've never used Cards against humanity and my remotes for the TV and then underneath it's just like a bunch of books. This like low-key cuts off my head. So, like my bad. This is my CD wall. So I get a lot of questions as, as to how I stick these up. The answer is packaging tape. It's a really really heavy duty tape. That's all this is. CDs are heavy so like scotch tape sometimes doesn't work. Really cool albums up here. I have like, I think I have like every single Jonas Brothers album. Jolvera's EP and their album which are both signed. The signed copy of BB Rex's EP. Born, R5, Walk the Moon. Every single Young Blood album. I'm talking Michael Callum. The regular one, Luke and Ashton. This is pretty freaking cool. And then up here, I've got Five Seconds of Summer debut album, Live Sauce. Sounds good, feels good, but I only have Malum. And then I have the She Looks So Perfect EP. And then I've got like State Champs, The Wombats, Against the Curry, you know, Andy, all that other stuff. Over here, I have this mirror that looks like a record. And I think it's one of the coolest things I own. And so it just, you know, chills up above my room because I'm cool. And then over here is, you know, the setup you guys see every week. And so it's my bed. But again, all of my stitches because my obsession with stitch is unhealthy. My lyric wall art, which changes every year. This year, I put oh my, my, my. No real reasoning behind it. Last year, the all-time low lyrics, you know, actually meant something to me. This time, I was just obsessed with Choice Savon's song. Thought it was cool. Um, and then put it up in primary colors. Uh, again, I get a lot of questions on how to make this. All you do is grab construction paper, cut out the letters, and then tape it to your wall. That's honestly it. I have a tutorial on how I did it from like three years ago from my collab channel. So I can link that down below if you want to check that out. But it's really really simple. My blanket is from Marshall. It's just the Peanuts comics cuz I love Charlie Brown so much. Then over here I've just got this furry pillow. This really cool pillow. All the goods. Over here's where I do my makeup. I have this really cool makeup desk that my mom got me. You take this down, it's a desk. You lift it up and all the goods are right here. So in this compartment right here, I have all of my palettes, all my loose eyeshadows, all my foundations and primers and powders and whatnot. And then in this section over here is just bronzers, blushes, and highlights. Uh, over here's all my brushes and mascaras and eyeliners and things like that. Um, beauty blender, setting spray, and sanitizer because we are not disgusting. Here is a bunch of lotions and and lip scrubs, makeup removers, and down here are all of the rest of my lip products. I have a fan because I am secretly James Charles. And then my eye mask. One's got stitch on it. One says I love you. I got this from the R5 concert back in July of last year. And yeah, that's basically my entire room. If you guys like that video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on my social media. Links will be in the description box below. If you want to check out my last room tour, I'll have that link in the description box below so you can check that out. Other than that, I will be a good one.